Hello, hello, welcome back, so much young. Uh, today we are now in our parking, at our home parking and we just want to take you with us in our usual day in Bali, how it goes when you live in Bali. So today we are going also to one new place, we haven't been there before and we'll take you with us. But before going for breakfast we also stop by laundry just to drop our dirty clothes. So in Bali is a lot of like these small laundries in a different price range where you can just drop your clothes and they will wash it for you. The laundry usually which is next to our home. It's a good one and only is like 8,000 Indonesian rupiah per 1 kg and it's ready in 2 days. Very interesting, so I will try to take a side bowl today and maybe Ranga will take a pokeball so we will try both. So Ranga pokeball looks much bigger. <laughs> okay, and my one compared to Ranga, you can see twice twice. It's like ice cream. Yeah, it's like an ice cream. Like so this is aside? Yeah. This is do you know what is acai, right? Because I get to know just recently. <laughs> so I create uh, my own pokeball, which is I order salmon mentaiko and tempeh. And we have a uh, different condiment over here. We have corn, uh, avocado, mango salsa, sweet pumpkin, pineapple, cucumber, and onion pickle. So the rice is like a sushi rice. Some sauce in it. But it's very nice. It tastes very fresh, the whole condiment is like uh, complement each other, so it is very nice. I really recommend you to come here. So it's smaller than I expected, and I take a large portion, but it looks like this, like two pieces of ice cream in acai with some uh, fruits. Looks nice, let's try. Okay, so I'll mix it, and he also has a chili powder, I see. I already tried the gel bed and this acai is really very nice and actually I think I will be full because how it's made, it's like a smoothie bowl but with a frozen, the said smoothie is a frozen and that fruit is great so you just mix it actually it's very, very tasty. So nowadays it's really a lot of uh, traffic in Changu area, Seminyak and if you want to go somewhere to Reclive to enjoy a sunset in Uluwatu you really need to spend like around 2 hours to get there but also not far from Changu, like maybe 15 minute drive have also a lot of amazing places and not many tourists know about it so today we'll show you one of these uh, places So now we are in a beach called Pantai Nyani here it's very big black sand beach you can see there is literally nothing here only have some uh, local varungs on top where you can also just sit have coconut and enjoy a sunset but i'll go to show you beautiful place which i really like in uh, this beach and for which we actually came here so the beach area is very close through the parking lot uh, from the parking you just need to go down through the staircase and probably around 2-3 meters yeah, from the parking lot and you can see this directly on the big side and as you can see around there's not so many people around uh, only unfortunately the due to the monsoon season uh, there is quite some garbage around here the sand is very black and if you touch it it's very soft and it's quite warm I think because of the black color uh, it's absorbed the heat Seriously, this is one of the softest sand I ever feel. Like ash, right? Yeah, it's literally like ash. See, like fly directly. And I don't know if you can see or no. You can see the sparkle. It's really like uh, maybe like a diamond kind of sparkle. It 
is very nice, yeah. yeah. So I found this beach uh, two years ago when I came uh, to Bali by myself first and I've been exploring and at that time I did not drive bike yet. So I took a Gojek to one area, then I walked around and then I lost my way and I found this beautiful beach. It was really empty but right now uh, as you can see also in the background there is a lot of buildings going on. This area is growing. Uh, maybe they will do like yeah, hotels. I think, I think sooner or later in the next couple of years uh, probably this place will be busy like jungle. Because uh, if you see, they already start building Parerena inside and they start uh, building in Jamagi and this place actually they start to build. So I believe uh, maybe maybe 5 to 10 years this place I guarantee will be happy. I think even earlier. So Nyanyi Beach actually is located between the Jamagi and Tabanan if I'm not mistaken. So if you see from my right side will be a Tabanan side. And to the left side is like where is the Changu, Berawa, Batu Bolong Beach are located. So in here a uh, little bit like away from Changu, 15 to 20 minutes. But uh, I guarantee it's worth to visit if you want to find some empty space, uh, not as crowded as the Berawa or Batu Bolong Beach. Uh, you can come here, it's a good option for you. So here's the cliff. So, which I really like and it's very beautiful, especially now suns are coming, it will be very beautiful light and just to see in real life, it's like unreal. But also in here, better to come in a low tide because then you can walk nicely in this uh, beach next to the cliff because now it's still a little high tide so little more waves <laughs> just be prepared for that just check uh, tides in internet like high and low tide for Bandai Nyanyi so you will know when it's better time to come I don't know if you can see because lightning is not the best it's very beautiful rock very beautiful cliff and So in here, in low tide, you can go up over there and to the other side, it's even more beautiful place, but you really need to check it to be at low tide. Also, you better take your water with you or buy water where is in the entrance in the one of the local barooks because it's also very hot in here and there is no any like local shops even in the beach. So if you will need even water, you will not have where to get it. So also be aware of that one. as well over here uh, unfortunately the cloud is starting to get very dark I think it's gonna be rain soon yeah. Yeah. so uh, we will go upstairs uh, if you see in the entrance there is a waru so we will enjoy the sunset from that waru uh, they do sell also coconut and some uh, snacks I think they sell some baso, satay and all other stuffs as well so yeah we will see the sunset from the top Okay, so we came now to the little barung on top of a hill. We'll enjoy sunset from here because in the dark from that area it's a bit far to go. So you can have some refreshments here and enjoy a sunset. And here her place under the roof. So even if you're afraid to do the rain or it's too hot, you can sit here under the roof. Or you can sit uh, in here outside in a garden. We ordered some coconut and we also ordered some snacks, but I already received the snacks. So now we are waiting for the sunset time. Uh, the sunset will be over here, as you can see, direct facing directly to the sunset. And the sunset, I think it will be really nice. Only unfortunately, the cloud is very dark over there. But yeah. also even though cloud is dark but still it looks so beautiful so do you like this beach or not? 
what we're like. That's why I bring you here and that's why I want to share with you guys this dish so you can also come and enjoy. Yeah, so whoever of you who managed to come to Changu area, I do really recommend you to come to this area, to this beach exactly. Uh, it's very nice and very good spot for sunset. During the sunset, yes, you can see people are uh, coming more and more uh, because literally this is like one of the best sunset spots. But that still, this place is compared to like Barava or Batu Balong, it's not busy at all. Yeah, it's not busy at all, it's empty. Uh, so the sunset point here, the one I like, is uh, similar with Luwatu because most of the sunset area in Changgu area is located in the beach unless you spend money on the beach club. But in here, uh, the Waru uh, is the sunset point, so they do sell many variety of snacks and drinks, even beer. Even in the Warung, they have like small kind of tables where you can have like picnic style. Okay guys, uh, so uh, we gonna enjoy the sunset. So the sunset time is gonna be closer and closer. So I hope that you really enjoy our daily vlog of the day. So hopefully you see you on the next adventure very soon. See you, bye bye.